What you want, detective? What's wrong, man? Just that crazy cop. What's up, power fans at YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another power video of Raising Canaan season two. In this video, I'll be talking about what to expect in the second episode. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, at the end of episode one, we saw a montage of a meetup between Raquel and Detective Hardwood. Now, the reason I think Raquel is meeting the detective is to see if he indeed lost his memory or not. I believe she wants to ascertain for herself to see if there is any need for her son to be scared for his life as Asifni told Raquel how scared Kanan was the night he took him out of town. I said, he didn't tell me anything specific, but he was scared, Rock. Very scared. Knowing Kanan's weaknesses and his ability to fuck things up, Raquel feels the need to meet the detective and see if she can confirm for herself that yes, indeed, he can't remember anything. But the twist of this will be that the detective's motive to meet Raquel is to make her understand that he remembers everything that happened that night. If he does that, he is going to keep Raquel on edge, confused, and start looking over her shoulder all the time. Now, this is going to affect Raquel with regards to her business and she might lose focus for some time. Not to talk of Nick's comeback. Remember that Unique knows Raquel set him up to go to jail. So he has a revenge in his pocket for her. Now, like I said in my earlier video, the detective is going to give Raquel a very deadly conditions to follow, which I possibly think that is for her to tell Kanan the truth that he is his father. And I know Howard will go all out on Raquel by threatening to bring her down himself if she doesn't right the wrong she has committed using his own son. So in the trailer, you could hear Kanan asking his mother what's wrong. And she said, is that crazy cop? What's wrong, man? Just that crazy cop. Her mood alone shows that she is in the middle of making extremely tough decisions. But like always, Raquel might not tell Kanan exactly what he needs to know. I'm sure she will want to find a way to hide this information from Kanan as long as she can. Now, what will make Kanan very suspicious of his mother is if she decide to all of a sudden want Kanan to go back to his auntie again for her to figure out her next move. Personally, I feel Raquel can't handle this situation because of the shock that might come with it. She might attempt to send Kanan back to where she sent him three months ago. So to her, Kanan out of sight will give her the room to think about the situation well enough without having to worry about Kanan's safety as well. Now let me know what you think about this by leaving your thoughts in the comment section. Now moving on, it doesn't look like Unique is going to bounce back to his business very easily since his connect is worried about his new profile as a cop killer. The NYPD continues to consider you a person of interest. So Unique's next move could probably be to get some trusted people, tell Raquel's move, find her drugs and rob her like he did with the stash house in season 1. But then again, this type of move will not be easy for Unique to pull up because of the way Raquel secured her product and the number of people she's working with and the number of people she has on board. It will take a whole army for Unique to rob Raquel now, an army he doesn't have yet. Now, alternatively, if I am Unique, the best way to get Raquel's attention and for her to come crawling is to kidnap Kanan. If Unique kidnaps Kanan, Raquel will come running. There he can negotiate some things and get himself back into business. Let me know what you think about how Unique is going to get back into his business. And leave your thoughts in the comment section and let's have the conversation there. Moving on, Jukebox doesn't seem to be giving up on finding her mother. Do you remember my mom at all? Of course. Being somebody's mother. It's a lot, you. And like I said early on, Raquel can assist her with some information about her mother. Depending on the history of her mother, Raquel might not want her to get involved with her mother. I also have a feeling Jukebox might consult Marvin about her mother. And the only reason Marvin will want to help Jukebox on her mother's whereabouts is because he probably wants to score some points with his daughter now. But then, mind you, Juke's mother is not going to be painted as a saint. We are likely to get some information on why she abandoned her daughter with her father and why for years she never reached out. So, in as much as Marvin is finding ways to make it up to Jukebox, her mother also has some apologies to render when they meet. Now, in the trailer, we see Scrap on top of his voice with Marvin. If I want to guess what it was about, 
I guess they heard about the arrest and where he was arrested. Hence, they want him to stay away from his mother's place to avoid the police telling him. Now, it looks like everyone has their weaknesses established. So if people are not careful, others weaknesses can get everybody arrested. Scrap could put us all the way forever. Share your thoughts with me and let's continue the power conversation in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.